Here are two scary stories of animal encounters. These people went into the forest and barely escaped with their lives. Story 1. Camping with a Grizzly Bear Unseen Terror – A Life-Changing Encounter with the Wild As the sun dipped beneath the horizon, a chilling breeze blew through the dense forest, carrying with it a threat that was as yet unseen. The protagonist of our tale, a young lad named Sammy. Sammy was a city dweller, unfamiliar with the wilderness and its inhabitants. His first camping trip with his older brother was an exciting adventure. Their camp was pitched near a serene lake, surrounded by age-old trees that almost reached the sky. The air was filled with the scent of earth and leaves, a far cry from the city fumes Sammy was used to. As night fell, the forest came alive with sounds unheard in the city. The rustling of leaves, the hooting of owls, the echoes of the nocturnal creatures, all combined to create a symphony of wilderness. Unknown to Sammy, danger lurked in the shadows. His ignorance would soon be shattered and his life would take an unexpected turn. As he sat by the campfire, a sudden rustling made him jump. Then the sound of a stick snapping behind him. Sammy could feel his heart starting to race as he put more wood on the fire. Suddenly, Sammy heard another sound of sticks breaking this time in front of them, and much closer. This time, Sammy grabbed his flashlight and scanned the tree line. First to the left, then the right, but saw nothing. As the fire settled, it was time to get some sleep. The two brothers climbed into their tent for the night. It took Sammy well into the night to fall asleep. The sounds of the forest kept him awake. Just as Sammy fell asleep, he was suddenly awoken by a terrifying growl. Sammy unzipped his tent and poked his head out, staring into the dark. He saw two gleaming eyes staring at him from the darkness. Fear gripped his heart like an icy hand. A low growl echoed through the silence, making the hairs on the back of Sammy's neck stand up. His world spun as the large figure of a bear emerged from the shadows. Sammy slowly zipped up his tent and laid back down in the darkness, hoping the bear would leave. As he laid there, he could hear the bear's footsteps getting closer and closer. The sounds of breaking sticks just outside his tent. He knew the bear was close. Frozen in fear, Sammy could only lay there in the darkness, waiting. What seemed like hours, Sammy laid there until the sun started to rise. Sammy climbed out of his tent and watched the sun rise over the hillside. It was beautiful. Even though the sun shined its light on a new day, Sammy could only stand there thinking if the bear was still near. He decided not to think about it and started packing his tent up for the long hike back to his car. As Sammy was taking down his tent, a familiar sound pierced his soul. The sound of footsteps breaking the branches behind him. As he looked up scanning the tree line, he saw it. There standing at the tree line was a huge grizzly bear. Raising his arms above his head, he summoned all his courage and screamed, hoping to scare the bear. The bear stopped, surprised, then roared back, shaking the ground beneath Sammy's feet. Sammy's heart pounded in his chest, the sound deafening in his ears. He was shaken but determined. He roared again, louder this time, challenging the bear with all his might. Something incredible happened then. The bear hesitated, took a step back, and then turned away, disappearing into the forest. Sammy was left standing, his heart still racing, but his courage unwavering. As Sammy stood there, he had a newfound respect for the forest and its creatures. He faced one of nature's most fierce creatures and lived to tell his tale. So if you are fearless like Sammy, then hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and take care. Story 2. Stalked by Wolves Imagine being lost in the woods. Suddenly you hear a howl. A howl of a pack of hungry wolves. The howls get closer and closer. Until the howl turns to a growl. Before you know it, you're surrounded. Our story begins one beautiful morning. The sun was rising, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink. A man named John was setting off for his routine hike through the majestic woods. John loved the forest. Its serenity and tranquility were his refuge. He was experienced and knew the forest like the back of his hand, but today was going to be different. As he entered the woods, birds were singing and the leaves rustled with the morning breeze. 
The scene was calm, soothing even, the perfect start to any day. John was walking along the familiar track when he noticed an unusual silence. The birds stopped singing. The wind seemed to hold its breath. Even the trees appeared to be waiting. An eerie sensation swept over him. Suddenly he heard a low growl. His heart skipped a beat. He turned around and saw a pair of glowing eyes staring at him. A chill ran down his spine. John froze. A wolf stepped out of the shadows, followed by another, then another. He was surrounded by a pack of wolves, their eyes gleaming in the dim light of the forest. This was a sight John had never expected. The wolves were usually shy creatures, avoiding human contact. Today they looked different, menacing, and hungry. John remembered his father's words, Wolves are more afraid of you than you are of them. Gathering his courage, he stood tall, trying to make himself look bigger. The leader of the pack, a massive wolf with piercing eyes, growled menacingly. John could see the desperation in its eyes. It was a battle for survival. John started to back away slowly, maintaining eye contact. He knew running could trigger their chase instinct. He had to keep calm. The wolves watched him, their eyes never leaving him. They were waiting for him to make a mistake, but John was not going to give them that chance. Inching closer to a cliff, John had an idea. He picked up a stick, waving it in the air, intimidating the predators. The wolves hesitated, their gaze shifting between John and the stick. It was working, but he needed something more. John then picked up a stone. He threw it into the distance. The sound of the stone crashing distracted the wolves, giving John a few precious seconds. He bolted. The wolves, startled, took a moment to figure out what happened. When they realized, they gave chase. John ran with all his might. His heart pounded like never before, but he had a plan. Reaching the edge of the cliff, John quickly climbed up a sturdy tree. The wolves arrived, but they couldn't reach him. The wolves circled the tree, growling and snapping, but they couldn't climb. John was safe, at least for now. As the sun began to set, the wolves started to retreat. They were still hungry, but they knew they had lost this battle. John waited until he couldn't hear the wolves anymore. With a sigh of relief, he climbed down. He was safe, unharmed. John made his way home. He was shaken, but grateful. He had survived a wolf pack encounter, a tale he would live to tell. That night, John fell asleep to the distant howls of the wolves. It was a sound that used to scare him. Now it was a reminder of his courage. John had faced his fears. He had looked death in the eye and survived. He had emerged stronger, braver. The man who loved the forest now respected it even more. For he had learned in the heart of nature, survival was the only rule. So ends the tale of John and his encounter with the wolves, a tale of courage, survival, and respect for the wild. Our story is over, but John's journey continues. The forest still calls to him, and he answers, knowing well the risks and rewards it holds. Remember, the wild is beautiful and thrilling, but never forget, it's also a world where only the brave survive.